Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Chris coming to you with a, another episode of my crazy crossroads. It's been a long time guys. I'm back at it. Um, I did try and shoot a video a couple of weeks ago with Joe and um, I had some equipment malfunctions, which by the way, I want to uh, give a shout out to Tony at Ghost Hunting Tech Store. Guys, go check him out. He sent me some uh, items. Please check him out. GhostHuntingTechStore.com. Awesome guy. Thank you again, Tony. I appreciate it. But I am out at the snake alley um joe and rob came out here and they told me i need to come out and do an alone challenge so i'm going to do 15 minutes uh i believe there's a trailer i can see the trailer there's a path that goes through here i guess the story was is a bunch of kids used to come out here um and go to this haunted trailer and walk through but uh, i know this area and it's known as snake alley because there's a ton of rattlesnakes back here um, it's been cleared, so not too concerned with it. It's a little cooler right now, so if there are out here, they're, they're somewhere. But uh, I'm going to go over there. I'm going to do about 15 minutes at the trailer, 15 minutes at this abandoned house, and uh, see what we can get into. See if I still remember how to do this, so I'll see you guys on the inside. All right, guys, so I'm just kind of walking through here. I'm not going to film the whole walkway up, so I, I don't want to waste too much um, film on me just walking. Uh, I want to keep this kind of tight. Um, like I said, I've been out of it for a little bit, so if uh, less footage I get... Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, less footage I get, the easier my editing is going to be. So I'll see you guys in just a couple minutes. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> I'll tell you what. This is creepy as all get out. So they knocked down all these trees, and it's kind of hard to even get back here, but I'm, I'm right on it. Ah, oh, crap. Look at this vegetation. Now, like I mentioned before, rattlesnakes. They could be anywhere. Um, so that's a little freaky. Wow, look at this crap. It's a Winnebago. Oh, okay. There's like an abandoned boat. Wow, this is crazy. Look at that light. Sorry, guys, I'm just really watching my step. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Dude. This is freaky. Oh, okay. I'm not going in there. This thing... I think I heard a dog or something. I hope that was an owl. Fuck, that scared the shit out of me. Oh my 
get up. Man, this is... This is creepy. Yep, I've been out of it for a while. I'm scared to death right now. I don't know if there's wild boar or something back here. Wow, look at this. This is crazy. Definitely creepy, that's for sure. Oh, there's a motor still in there. Look at this thing. It's I gotta say that, that noise over there, I hope it was an owl, but that really scared the living crap out of me. As you can see, if we had to run, this stuff is not too uh, not too easy to get through. Let me just kind of set up in here and see if we can. You hear something? You hear that? Okay. Someone there? Hey! Oh. I have to say, so there's a ton of uh, mosquito out here, too. That's why I put this mask on, too, guys. So, um, ton of mosquitoes. Coyotes scare me. Quick story, my buddy, there's a ton of coyotes out here. Actually all in our county, all throughout our county. A friend of mine was, okay, I don't know if that's an owl or a coyote. So a friend of mine was walking his dog and uh, he was attacked by a coyote tore his arm up like you wouldn't believe i think he had to get 70 plus stitches he was in a splint for a couple of weeks really messed him up um I, they, he said he thinks it was going after his dog and uh ended up latching onto his arm okay i think that's an owl Okay, so I swear I'm hearing voices, but it could be in my head. Whew. Oh, that scares me every time. 
Whoa. Something just moved over here. Holy crap, this is freaking me out. All right, I'm going to sort of make my way back. Um, there's really not too much I can do here, so. Just kind of cool looking through this. Just all the years that this thing must have been sitting out here and just rotting to hell. And you can see all the wiring from the top fell down. This was a cool vehicle at one point in time. Now it's just a pile of crud. <clears throat> All these little piles here. Look at the size of these trees that were knocked down. Alright, so I think I did about 10 minutes out here. Um, kind of walk around the woods, make our way back. Definitely uh, really cool to see that. Um, as far as that thing being haunted, I mean, it really there's not much we can do with it. Um, outside of playing stuff back and seeing if we actually do hear stuff. Sounded like a pig. So let me take this opportunity, guys, and just uh, talk to you a little bit and say thank you. Um, as you know, life has been uh, crazy uh, for me, my family, and I'm sure a bunch of you out there too. Um, just this whole pandemic is is crazy. Um, now we got riding on top of it, and why are we out of focus? Sorry guys. So why is this out of focus? Okay. So we um I'd like to take this opportunity from me and my family to say thank you to everybody who uh sent all the awesome messages, um all the cards, people have sent gifts, I mean is real touching. We lost lost a huge part of our family in one week. I mean, four deaths in one week. So it's been a tough time. It's still a tough time. I have a, I have a hard time sleeping. Um, every time I close my eyes, another family member that passed, whether it be my father or one of my cousins, just jump in my head. So it's definitely difficult because um, you really don't you don't know how to mourn and you don't know who to mourn. Um, and then the worst part on top of that is after all the churches and everything reopen, we have to revisit everything and have the services. So it's going to be tough. But yes, I am moving. Um, we made a quick decision. We've talked about moving out of this area for, for quite some time. My daughter's graduated. Uh, Lainey has graduated. She, I'm so proud of her. Um, so we're moving on. Um, I listed my house. It sold in, in in a day, so I had to head out to Carolinas and go buy a house. So we're closing on our house on the 22nd up there, and uh, so bear with me. I am still going to be. <coughs> I am going to still be doing videos. I'm going to try and get in as many as I can with Joey um, and Rob. Um, 
uh, in the next couple of weeks. But outside of that, I'll be bringing you some videos from my new area. I'm going to be in the Charlotte area. So uh, it's beautiful up there. So look forward to uh, I look forward to bringing you some good content up there. I've already mapped out a few places that we can go, um, and then uh, I can also make my way out to Raleigh, which isn't too far away, and maybe do some more videos with my buddy Jamie, who uh, everybody seemed to enjoy. So, all right, guys, I'm going to cut out, and then I'm going to meet you over at the house. I have to drive, I guess it's like a quarter of a mile or something. I don't even know up the street a little bit. And uh, I'll see you out there, okay? Deuces, love you. All right, guys, I found my way to this abandoned house. And uh, it's, it's off the side of Main Road that it looks like they're doing some construction on. And uh, there's a little shed back here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in this way because, like I said, we only have like 15 minutes. So I'm going to go into the main house and see what we can find in here. Joe said a lot of creepy stuff happened in here. I think they heard voices or... Women laughing. Hello? Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Alright, so it looks like... Might be something going on in here. I don't know if they're tearing it down or building it up. There's no um no trespass. Oh, strange. Okay. It's hard to tell how this house was laid out, but I believe we walk in this way. It might have been like the family room or something. There's a big hole here. Oh, New floors, new toilets, so they might be. Huh? Hear that? <sighs> Gonna settle for a second. This is weird. So, it was like a knocking or something. There's road noise, guys, so it could be something on the outside. That's not. Okay, let's just stay still for a minute. So all that thumping that I just heard could be a car with car stereo driving by maybe, but all right. So if there's, if there's a spirit, 
there's a spirit in here. You know, make yourself known to me. Ho, ho, ho. That literally was right here. Oh my goodness. Yep. What the hell? All right, I hear you. I hear you. I'm. I come. I. I. I come in peace, and I mean no harm. Just checking this place out. I don't understand what's going on in here, but hear that? Oh, I should have just came in here for the whole half hour. I hear you. Why is my flashlight not working? Can you make something move? Move something for me. It's been a while since I've seen something move. Huh. So you're a little shy, huh? Are you shy? You hear that squeak? Don't be shy. Make yourself known to me. So I hear a lot of road noise. But I think I hear like something talking, some whispering. Again, it could just be in my head. Listen. Wow. Sounds like a hiss. I don't understand why you would, would be hissing at me. Can you make anything move in here? Got a lot of stuff that can move around. I don't know where I'm at time-wise here. Let me see. Okay. For some reason. My camera isn't telling me how much time I'm at, so. I'll tell you what, this is a cool place for sure. It's not big, but I think when I, I'm playing stuff back, I'm going to hear things. Looks like there's some activity that's going on here or was going on here. Maybe they were trying to restore this. Oh. Sounds like, well, that's wild. Whew. I'm really enjoying this place. The creep factor isn't that high, but it, it seems like there's something going on in here. It seems like, um, you know, I, I always say you get a feeling 
that you know something's with you and uh, kind of have that feeling, but it doesn't seem evil, whatever it is. I mean, there's times when I go into places and I just, I'm really freaked out because I, it just feels very evil. This doesn't feel evil at all. Oh, fuck me. That was, that was, that was on the roof. That's somebody outside. Hello? All right. That was up here. Oh, I can't stand on that. That sounded like that was something on the roof. All right, let's go around the front and see. And I'll get a shot of the roof from here. But you can see the road there. Get a shot up here. I don't know if you guys are seeing it or not, but okay. I uh, I don't know. That was crazy. Let me go check the other side here, maybe. <laughs> that looks scary as hell. Let's see if I can get back up there. I don't have a long enough um, pole. And uh, save your comments on that one. That's what she said. But I can't climb. I'd like to climb up on this, but there's nobody on the roof, guys. I'll get back a little further. Wow, look at this place. You can see the whole roof line. It's, a, it's like a flat roof. Okay. Let's just check this out here real quick. Oh, that was cool. I'll tell you what, I'm, I want to come back and do some more time. I mean, I guess I could stay here, but it's all of a sudden it's like a hundred degrees out here. That's cool. Nice little shed area. Nothing crazy. So I really think I'm like pretty much right where I need to be time wise, guys. That room, that house is friggin' cool. I really enjoyed going in there and um, probably going to come back and do something else in here before I go maybe have a little more time um, like I said it's just so darn hot out but oh, did I do that? Yep. when I get freaked out and I turn real fast I, I, uh, I screw up my lens so you hear that?
Alright, what the hell? <laughs> wow. Okay. Obviously, I hit that. Alright, that could just be... Yeah, I gotta go. This like, sounds like the same spot. I don't know if this is open or not. I gotta go back around. I'm just about wrapping this up anyway, guys. So I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna try and come out this door. Oh. Yeah. That door was locked, so I definitely want to uh, lock it back up. It's a little strange. Cool place though, definitely cool. I really enjoyed being in here. But my goodness guys, this is one of the reasons why I'm leaving Florida is because uh, the heat, it's just so, it's horrendous. If you don't live in Florida or have never lived in Florida, I know it's a sunshine state and it sounds great and everything but the summers are never ending and it's just it's so bad the humidity is so bad um, but once again I'm gonna be heading out to the Carolinas I do plan on doing a couple more videos um, <clears throat> I gotta try and coincide with Joe so we can do a couple of collaborations uh, just been real busy real hectic so um, um, I will be leaving in a couple weeks. Um, everything down below, guys, in my description. Check it all out. I um, uh, thank you for the cameos and all that good stuff we've been getting. Um, one thing I do want to tell you, my P.O. box as of today, I didn't renew it <clears throat> because I'm leaving. So um, if anybody has anything they, they want to send or whatever in the next few weeks, you can send it to uh, Joe and Rob's at Uggas. Uggas. UGUE's website um, and anyway thank you so much guys for following me thank you for watching thank thank you again for all the thoughts and prayers and all the shout out and all the love and I hope that everybody finds this video um, safe happy healthy um, this world's crazy right now um, so just take care of each other We'll get through it. We need some change for sure. And we need this uh, pandemic to end real soon because it's just, it's just a horrible world we're in right now. But it will get better. I love you very much and I'll see you guys soon. Deuces.